a debate. I, I get in this. I, I, I don't understand this. I, let me just back up. I'm going to say this right now. I hate payday loans companies. I hate them with, I think that they are, I think that they are, that they oppress the poor. I think that they hurt people. I think that they do nothing more than give false promises. And then once you get sucked into it, they, they, they lock up your checking account, that they enslave you, that they don't care about you, that they, that they, that they charge 800%. I, can't, I don't have anything good to say about them. But you'd be surprised how many times that I'll put something out there like that. And I'll, I'll just give my, this is just my personal opinion. I think that the people need to be shut down. Okay, um, I'm not for government regulations in that. I'm, a, I'm more of on this side right here. But at the same time, I think that these people are wrong and they need to be spoken up. Uh, we need to speak out against them every time we get the chance. And whenever I do it, sometimes I get somebody who I normally agree with over on this side come up to me and say they have a choice. They have an individual choice. Somebody goes up there. They're fully aware. It says right there in black and white, 800 percent. It says right there. I said, you have never, ever looked at a single mom's eyes when their power's getting shut off and they're scared to death that their babies ain't going to have anything to eat and feel so desperate that, they, that, that because nobody else will help, they go to these places and then as soon as they get in, they're locked in. You, you've never been there with them, have you? The Bible's clear. Proverbs. What does it say? Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker, but whoever is kind to the needy honors God.